Hey, how are you? It's um, February. I don't know where January went. It's um, it's summer here, even though it's cold and I've got the heater on inside at the moment. Um, and being summer, school starts next week for my kids. Um, so January is just all kids stuff. I don't, I don't even wear it. I haven't even put my watch back on. <laughs> I don't put my watch on back on until we're back into the real life of things but my son starts school next week but he starts high school so it's here it's the year you turn uh 13 so he's going from primary school to high school so he's in year seven and so he's going to have to catch a bus um we normally just used to walk to school so because he's walking i'm oh, sorry he's walking to the bus stop which is hopefully just across the road we don't know where that is yet um he's going to need a bus pass and he's going to need money to buy a bus pass and being that school hasn't started yet we don't know what we're going to need so we, we need something we need something for him to feel confident in um, until he knows what he needs so I don't even know what the bus passes look like so this is what a normal bus pass looks like bus card I don't know um, if we're going on the metro but this is a private public school but they, they arrange the bus services and then we buy the tickets for the bus so we don't know what he needs so I'm, I'm i'm going to use this as a template for size i'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger um and it's gonna have a, like a coin purse on the back so he can put his money in for the bus pass and then i'm gonna have um like a slanted pocket on the front that he can just slide his pass into hopefully um even if it just lasts one or two days until he says, Mom, this is what I need. This is what everyone else is using. This is, you know, whatever. At least he's feeling confident that he's got something new um, for school. Because he's a bit daunting starting high school. How do you do it? I don't know. So I'm going to show you my plan. So let me just bear with me for a second. Okay, so this is, oh, I haven't got a pattern. So where's, what do I do with the bus pass that I had two seconds ago? Here it is. So here's the bus pass size. So I'm gonna go a bit bigger. So, so just, this just in general. Okay, this is not obviously a pattern piece. Um, so this is the front where he's gonna slip it in. So I'm going to have stitching, like this is stitched. So he would then insert the bus pass into here. He's on boom, so he doesn't have to worry about undoing anything on the back of this. So then we've got like um, a D ring here. That's a D ring here. So on the reverse side, so this is the reverse side, is a zipper. A zipper. So I'm either going to put it on the top, or I might actually just put it just down slightly just so it doesn't get interfere with um, this going in because he's never used anything like this before. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. So I'll probably have a piece of fabric here and then the zipper will come down on the front. So then I need you put the money into this section here. So that's my idea. Now, I was going to use a nice big zip like this. So nice, it's big, it's chunky. But it's basically the same size, just a smidge bigger than the bus pass. And I'm like, well, he's not used to doing stuff like this. He's got the pressure of going on the bus, having to fiddle, fiddle you know, be really fiddly. So what I was thinking is I might go to slightly bigger, a slightly bigger purse, coin purse. This is an off cut from a bag. Um, so I can make it just slightly bigger for the bus pass after uh, ferry for the coins and stuff like that so this this is a, this will be on the other side of this so you've got this here and then this is on the other side down slightly so he's got his coins so then we've got then i hunted around for some d-rings i don't have very many and i don't have any many narrow ones so then i was continued looking and i found some old some scraps or some cork and if I fold that in half, like that, it doesn't need to be very big. That is the same size as a D-ring. So it doesn't matter that it's got raw edge on one side. It's just a D-ring. It's probably, I don't even know how long this is going to last for. So that's 
will be like that on the side of the bag with a D ring. So I've got those scraps and then so then I'm going to use that, that one I'm tossing. I've got my label because he loves handmade. What else did I have? Oh, fabric. I found this fabric. It's pugs. So I was originally going to go like, this is vinyl. Um, he's like, yeah, okay. He didn't sound too enthusiastic about it. So then I found these. I'm like, how about pugs? He goes, do you like pugs? He goes, how could I not like pugs? Well, yeah, I agree. How could you not like pugs? So I was thinking this for the coin section with the zipper. And this would be the section on the front, like this. So you'd see a little peek of the dogs and then that would go in there like that. And then I found just some boring cotton on the inside. I was gonna use like blue, but I thought, no, I just do boring cotton. Um, it's actually still, this is all linen. So I actually found some matching linen to go on the inside. So that is that. But it's the school holidays, like I said, um, I've got to clean the table because I'm just going to show you. This is the table. Kids, unfinished school um, Star Wars stuff. Food that I'm trying to grow. On the other side, we've got fruit and go. Oh, goodness me. I'm actually just going to clear this space here for the sewing machine and not do that at all. Um, you know, not make a big deal about this. Because after this, he's going to need a laptop, something for his laptop. So we're going to go basics and then worry about I'm um, doing something more specific later on because we're on a time frame here. So come along with me and we'll try to figure out how to do it. This is a coin, par, coin purse, um, bus pass stop. Okay, so I'm going to cut this now and I've realised that it's basically the right size almost-ish, like that. So that's probably perfect. So I'm going to um, just come along and I'm I probably should get a ruler but it's fine why do we need rulers I noticed that there's a, a cut here so I'm just going to cut through this puppy here sorry puppy look there's a line there I can aim for there's a line on that puppy I feel mean cutting through a puppy so there's a straightish line let's say we've got the green card we'll go doggy in oh look we'll go a doggy in and a doggy a doggy in that side and a doggy in this side so I'm going to cut through this one here. I don't know about you, but I kind of freestyle my sign all the time. Who needs a ruler and a rotary cutter and all that jazz? So we're going to have to now even this up. I just don't have a sewing room. It gets really hard to organize your sewing when you haven't got a sewing room. And this little dude here, I'm just gonna cut straight through because I can't do it like this because the doggies will be upside, one's be upside down. So I'm gonna have to cut him in half. Actually, one's upside down. It doesn't really matter because this will be that way. And then this will be where you put the money, in, but then the dogs will be upside down. No, I definitely need to cut it in half. So I'm not gonna cut his feet off going to be big enough right I'm better off cutting off his a little bit of his feet yeah okay technical let's just go right up to the top of the fabric I probably should interface this but this is linen I don't think it needs interfacing linen's pretty strong and we're going to very technically So then we've got two pieces the same way boom there's the front okay there's the front with the zip oh, hang on there I'm gonna if I put the zip on I'm gonna cut do through that little dude that's not gonna work is it maybe we'll have to use just some plain up the top oh you know what we'll figure that out later I'll sew the zip along there and we'll see I can do a zip on the top I'm more than capable of putting a zip on the top. He's a big boy, he can work it out. He's got pencil cases. So now I need the lining. This is just the lining, I need two lining. Oh look, is that the same size? What do we reckon? <gasps> look at that. How's that work? What is this from? <laughs> is that the same width? The depth, is that the same depth? Oh my good lord, it is almost, almost for me is perfect. 
let's go with almost that made that easier that was unexpected all right so we've got two and two then we need the pocket the front which oh look there's some more cut fabric why is this all cut how big is this what did i use this for that it's all cut up i have no idea I behave pieces of fabric probably help if i iron them right so we've got that piece there make a piece of cork and if that came here maybe we can just go from the selvage edge to here we'll go from the selvage edge at the top no because then it'd be fuzzy if we go line the selvage edge up along the bottom and then like that or like that oh what if we check is this long enough wide enough to no of course it isn't what if we went like this? No, it's probably too shallow. I don't know. Where's the bus pass gone? Hello, bus pass. Where are you? Oh no, I've lost the bus pass. Oh, there it is. So there's the bus pass. Boom. Oh. But then we've got a raw edge here. Mm. No, it's not going to work. Get rid of it. Okay. I also found this piece that's cut in half. Look, it's cut in half already. Okay, let me you out of the way. Okay, so things need a press, but once things are pressed, if we... Okay. And then if we cut that on an angle. Okay, boom. All right, look at that. Let's, let's just cut this in half. If we have excess left over, then we oh, look it's folded oh my gosh let's cut this side i like scraps so i don't mind making scraps if you don't like making scraps this is probably not the best way for you and then we can go in this way look look it's folded look at that how is that look boom i don't know is it just a coincidence that it's folded I was actually thinking more like this. Hang on, where's a, where's a pin? Alright, I was thinking more like this, so... Like... Boom. Yeah, no, that's better. Actually, I might just stitch it like that. Because that would give it some weight. I just do two lines of stitching boom and boom and boom and then I don't need to interface the front ah oh, look at that that look that's just ready to stitch two lines of stitching boom boom maybe three boom 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 because it's got lines on it and that will hold all this in place and then I can sew this to I can tack this around to this and then we can add the zip add a zip add the zip and the end of the lining oh this is working okay so the next thing we've got to worry about is this d-ring so i think this piece of cork i don't know what this is from actually okay which is more that's more cork yes yeah, more that's more the right color it's like a silver and it goes with the that okay so we'll move all these away Okay, wingling-a-ding. So if we just fold this in half, and this is getting too narrow up here, so boom. See if we can cut a straight line. Oh gosh, beautiful to cut through. And then if we fold it in half, and then like that, we'll sew that in half. And then fold it and it starts to taper off right there which is absolutely fine oh. so you fold that and then we'll attach that to that then we just need to put this on which we might do my little name tag just on this side so you've got something to pull this is working out a treat and then we've got it all we've cut all the 
fabric not very technically but that's how i like to do things i don't even have to get the iron out i'll get that out right at the end i reckon all right let's um hunt that sewing machine okay found the sewing machine i don't even have to um change the thread that was all okay so first step oops better not lose the d-ring let's put the d-ring up on where am i going to put the d-ring ah, i'll put it there okay so man it feels like i haven't sewn for ages which, you know, I probably haven't. So I'm going to sew, this is the side of the, oops, needle down. Never mind, let's try to do this seat. I do, oh, up again, I would have a peek. This, beautiful. Okay, so this is the slip pocket for the pass. And wonder what the past is going to look like when we get it. It's hard to make something for something that you just you just use. You have no idea. You're just using your imagination. Oh, beautiful. Who cares if it's Willy Wonky? I don't. I might just keep going down until all that's sewn in because I can. It's a bit like quilting. The lines are all wiggly woggly, but look, the lines are all on the print are all wibbly wobbly. Oh, it's terrible lighting. Let me see if I can fix that lighting. That one? Is that better lighting? Goodness. It's so dark for summer day. I'm not going to do this side now because I can't see. We've had a couple of hot days here in summer, but most of the days have been a bit like this. Overcast, dull, and oh, we need to put the heater on. Alright, because I've started to do this, I'm I've started, I'm just going to take it all the way and do it all to make it a feature rather than a <laughs> what the heck is she doing type of thing. So I'm going to be trimming this down to size so I don't know what that size is yet so I'm just going to keep doing this. This back basically is acting as interfacing as well because it's stiffening it up. Awesome, look at that. That looks good. Let's get rid of all these little ends. So how's it looking so far? What do you reckon? If you can do me a big great big favor and subscribe to my channel i think i'll love you forever <laughs> doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe but you know what it means the world to me so and also if you could give it a like the video a like that'd be awesome too so once you've clicked that subscribe button let's go and do this next step all right i'm just out of the way and let's move this down so you can see so i've just done that so what i'm going to be doing is putting this to the front look at that that works out perfectly maybe i can bring it down a little look at that oh peekaboo of dog we can call this the peekaboo of dogs and if it goes over the back of it it doesn't matter that's awesome i love that i might do a little bit more and we'll just clip it right in the middle Oh, that didn't work. Why didn't you work? And you know what? I'm just going to go and sew him on so he stays forever and we're happy. Because we've still got to do the lining and the zip and all that jazz. I might sew it from this side. Awesome. And now we can take that pin out and not stab ourselves. And then I'm just going to come across here and trim, trim the end. Uh, so then it's the same as the other one. Get rid of that. 
Okay. Look at that. We made a pocket. Look. Look. Oh, oh, look at that. How cool is that? I made a pocket. Okay, so we're going to do the zippity zip. So it goes this way, right? Okay. Look, it's got something on it. Um, what are we going to do about the ends? Um, I, I want it to kind of stick up anyway, like, so I'm not going to do anything with the ends. We're just going to go with what we've got. Not worry about anything. Because, because, that's the reason. Just because. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So I like to, um, wing it. And, I like these needles. And I like to do the lining and the zip at the same time. So bear with me. Well, that's what I do. So this is the lining. And because it's going to go like this, this is a bit you're not going to see. So this is the bit that you put the lining on. So we're going to go do this. Probably be better if I had clips, but I don't know where they are. You know what, I've put the DVD on for the kids. They're watching um, Lord of the Rings and building Lego. And they're actually quiet, which is like, wow. It's amazing. Like my kids play well, so together. So that's nice. Anyway, let's get this little sucker on. Come on, you. Do I get him? No, you need to come up a little bit more. Alright, now even though this is a handbag zipper, I'm not going to do that, I'm still going to put my zip foot on because I want him to be up, the, the, I want to have that space where the zip is. Alright, okay on you go, down you go and then let's just move this up here thank you very much let's see uh, you know what i can do zippers really easily but i don't have the patience for the perfect clean zipper i don't think that's in my personality what kind of a zipper person are you you know what? i used to be really scared of zippers so one day I spent the weekend, one, one day, one weekend, I just spent the entire weekend just practicing zippers and then boom, I wasn't scared of them anymore, which seems ridiculous now that I've just said that, but it, it, it meant a lot when I did it. I got past that, ooh, it's scary stage. Okay, so just in case you haven't done 100 zippers, this is what you do, you open up your zipper, so you've got some space there. You're lining up this edge because this is this side, sorry. So you're lining up this edge with this edge, not the zipper edge, this edge. So you're just gonna line him up right there and find it. Get your eyeball out, pin. And because depending on how the fabric was cut, it might stretch a little because of the um, the warp and weft and all that sort of jazz. But don't worry about that. We're not worrying about that. This is not a prize winning zipper um, case or purse. Okay, so that looks even, evenish, evenish. So then we're going to turn and we're going to do the same with <laughs> this we're going to put him here because then we fold it up like that yeah makes sense in my head all right so we're going to hold that in place i'm going to put him on apparently zippers are hymns goodness who would have thought okay and that one and that one so when we open it Bada bing, bada boom, you've got that. Okay. Alrighty. My pin cushion right down. Needle down.
and there are so many ways of doing zippers please don't let anyone say that you're doing it wrong because even though it could be neater if you're doing a zipper you're doing a zipper you know you just do it your way and your way will get tidier the more you do it right so we're going to change the foot back to the normal everyday foot well this is not my normal everyday foot this is the other foot because i lost my normal everyday foot so now we're just going to top stitch these down some people don't top stitch the back to it but i do so because that's how i like it out of the way needle down again so you can do a little manipulating all right let's do this side as you can see the um the lining has shifted slightly because it's because of the stretch of it i'm not worried about that in the slightest And while I think about it, I'm just going to put the needle down and lift, open this up before we get into trouble later. Always leave your zipper open. Okay, let's put the needle back up. Okay, let's just trim a few of these ends. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. They're not going to go crazy and pull that off because there's no end on it. So the next thing we're going to do is the D-ring tab now this is cork there's lots of ways to sew cork this is my unofficial way um, I just get it done it's just so smooth cork it's just it, you would think cork would be hard to sew hard to cut hard to pin it's not don't, don't go off the edge okay there we go don't worry about the ends because they're going to get oops trim that they're going to get tucked in the same look look at that doesn't matter that it's got the raw bit that's going to go down so you're not going to really see it now where's my d-ring so put your d-ring on which one do you want outside inside outside it doesn't really matter outside oh, it's got a little crack it's got a tiny little bit of crack there so let's turn that that way wow i had to think about that and that can be on the inside so here we go let's move this down a little bit so you can see so this is opening and shutting so i'm going to put oh no 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 no! don't do that marie look i'm going to just quickly zip that before i it just changed Now I can just cut that off actually. I just didn't want that to open up too wide, which has just, just gone and done even more. Yeah, don't do as I say, don't do as I do. Use clips. Oh, okay, don't sew on school holidays. All right, you know what, we'll just go around and do this one now. We're just putting ends on so we don't lose the zip. The zipper tab. Right now, as I was saying, after we trim all the threads because they're annoying, we're going to fold this because we're going to fold this down and this is going to go here. So we want this about, this about here, right, kind of close to the top. And I might actually just, just tack in with the sewing machine. So it's just, I've moved the lining out of the way and I'm gonna to try to tack that little guy right as far, as top, as close to the top as possible. And that way that little sucker's not gonna move. And then whilst I'm doing that, now we can put that one there, but he'll cover him up. So we might put this little guy on this side and that just gives a little 
tag for, for holding it shut or pulling the zipper. So we're just going to put this guy on this side and do the exact same thing. The lining's out of the way. This is also known as the chaotic way of sewing. 100% my way. Okay, so I had to pause that. I had a visitor. Um, forget my, forgive my dirty line there. I took a sticker off and it was like gross. And I also um, just took this off and I've reattached it. Um, I meant to put it along the seam I had there, but I forgot. Anyway, so now we're at the point of sewing it all together. So, 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 so. So we're going to open up the zip first. Uh, always, always open. And you're going to pin your edges up. And for the zip, I actually just put my hand and then I'm going to line that edge with that edge and pin it. And then I'll come up to the corner. This is your final step. So if you can just take half a second, just longer to do this, to line a few things up. And sometimes I actually sew this bit in sections as it's just easier just to take your time. All right. So I'm gonna come up and do, so that's all lined up. I don't mind if my zipper is going to be on a bit of an angle. If that bothers you, then you need to make sure what angle that's going to come up on. So I'm going to have it so it's kind of, where's the back? Yeah, this is the back. So just fiddle around with your zip a bit. Take your time. Pin. Oops. And I'm going to leave the edge open. So you trying to edge it. If you've got it pointing, which way is it pointing? This one's pointing down, so we've got to try to get this one pointing down-ish or straight-ish. You know, maybe I can push it. Oh, look at that. I can push it slightly down. We'll see how that goes in a second. Alright. Okay. First bit I'm going to do is come up and match that seam with that seam and smush that up there. And I'm going to come and do this top edge. Oops, I dropped that somewhere. And I'm going to go very accurately. My seam allowance is going to be the foot width. And hold that and then just gently. And then I'm going to go back because it's a pressure point. And then I've got the big cork label in here. So I'm going to just do that over again. All the way down to the end. And then I'm going to cut. And I'm going to come around on this side. I'm going to, he's smushed down, so he's smushed down, I'm going to, like I said, if the zip's wobbly, I don't care, because I haven't actually really put an edge to it, all we want is that it's closed off in the end, over, and then back over, going to come and close this off so I'm going to go with this line because this is the outside pocket so I'm just going to close it off to this line okay and then we're just going to come in ever so slightly on this end and the way to get it finished is to come down trust me it works and you come along and you come up a little bit and then and then trim all your edges tighten it up slightly 
take a breath I'm just gonna thin this out a bit like I said this is not perfection I'm not gonna worry if it's not a hundred percent neat your zip if you have anxiety over zip techniques and don't use my way do it your way that makes you feel good like I said there's no one particular way to do a zip it's just your way that you like doing and then you'll get neater and neater and neater all right who wants to turn it through with me all right that's it we're done there we go okay now before I turn it have you subscribed to my channel have you given me a like for this video so come on come on come on let's do that while I'm doing this there we go oops oops I'm just going to check make sure as I poke it through that I've got all the edges because you don't want to do it all and then go oh bugger I missed a bit stick your finger right in get the corner and bajoomy get the little scissors in and bajoomy it out bajoomy is an official word for patches oh it looks so cute and then we can lift that up slightly oh my god oh my gosh it looks so good mate have you given me a like have you subscribed because you know what I think this is worth it sometimes no pattern sewing is the best kind of sewing all right so here we go we're just going to finish this off and you know what if my son loses it it should be easy to find again at school because it's only one of a kind all right bada bing bada boom here's the test all right are we ready I'm, I'm I'm happy with it I, I don't know how your you score things that you make but it's all about oh, I want one. do you know like I want to make one for myself all right here we go now it needs a press remember that let's test this <gasps> look Now, if he finds that that is too loose, what I can do later, if he's like worried that it's going to come out, I can get, let's for example, grab this piece of cork. I can get an oversized piece of cork. I can get, um, I can sew there and I can put a pop of foot. Oh, man. Okay, let's try something that's easier to show. This. So get a piece of fabric or a piece of cork and you sew it onto there and then you get like a little popper here or a snap and you can snap that onto there and I might do that actually I see what he says that is awesome oh, I am wrapped with this look at that it needs a thing I just went through and um, put a little stitches in there so the, the D-ring didn't float around everywhere. But once it has a press, and I just, yeah, I might, should I use cork? I might put a piece of cork there. What do you reckon? I've got enough scraps. I might go do that now. All right, bear with me. I'm going to cut a piece. Oh, look, look. I might cut a piece of cork to size, and we'll do that. A little rectangular piece of cork that I had lying around. So I'm going to... So if we put the popper in about there, I'm going to just stitch him there. Okay, let's see if we can pin that. Does it pin? Oh yes. Now, a question getting out of the sewing machine. I can take this out. Is it going to fit under here? Come on, baby. You can do it or do I need to hand sew you? Oh, oh no, look, you do. Oh, and back again. There and back again, a zipper pouch tail. Oh, we're going to go a hobbit's tail. And then we'll just, all right. Oh, that looks so good. 
Okay, this is looking better. Okay, take that piece out. Where's my card? Put the card in. And then we have a little popper there. I can do that, definitely. All right, bear with me while I find a popper. Okay, so I found some poppers or fasteners or whatever you want to call it in my cupboard. Um, I do have snap press machine, but um, it's school holidays, it's by the door and all the fishing stuff and beach stuff is also by the door and I'm like, um, I just want to get this done. So we'll use these ones. I found these um, little snap in my doll making stuff. And also my, I have to tell you about my sewing needle. I bought these ones and oh my gosh, they come in this little vial. They are the best needles I've ever used, says she who's just unthreaded it. When I went and bought them, these are more expensive than normal sewing needles, hand sewing needles. The lady was saying that when they're made, the grain goes this way, which is where the, um, they, take, they take, a, well, take a while to make these, which is why they're more expensive. Whereas normal sewing needles, the grain goes this way because it's how the machine rolls them. And the difference it makes, oh my gosh, you just put it in and it glides. I didn't know sewing. <laughs> hand sewing could be that easy i honestly didn't know that there was a different in needles and i swear these are the best ones ever so as an adult as an adult i'm never ever going to go back and buy that multi-pack of hand needles um actually going to um oops put it through the hard hole um buy myself another packet so i've got some with my other sewing kit i'll link to them below so you can get them too because honestly you thought you had a good sewing needle. I thought, I mean, I did. I thought I had a favorite sewing needle. I really did. And then I used these and I'm like, oh, this is good. Okay, so now that this is all done, I know my son's gonna love this. He would love it even if it was really crap. He's a good, he's a good kid, that one. All right, let's put my sewing needle there. All right, let's go. Okay, coins in there. It's chunky, don't care. So this would go in here. And then while he's sitting on the bus, so then he can lock it in, he doesn't lose it. Oh, look at that. So now I'm just gonna go press it. I'll take some photos of it. I shall give it to him. And I shall praise in the glory of being an awesome mother. <laughs> so please tell me, what do you think? Did I do a good job? I'll show you my... Oh, this was my original plan. This is the finished thing. I got the stripe, I got the zip. The only thing difference is I put the zip up the top rather than putting the zipper down here because I didn't want to um, I didn't want to cut a pug. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Really, really happy. He can put it on his lanyard. We gave him a lanyard um, for his locker key. So, I mean, it's on an angle, but life's about being on an angle. I love it. All right, let me know in the comments below. Did I do a good job? Did I do a crap job? No, don't tell me if I did a crap job. <laughs> Be nice. And um, stick around and um, stay with me and follow. And um, uh, next up, I've got to try to figure out how to do a laptop case. So I shall take a break now from this and um, go have a cup of tea. Thanks for watching.